Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a manufacturing date and an expiration date. So in our, as in our previous video, we'll hit edit, edit single file. Let's go ahead and create the text for this. So we're going to do this in two different fields to edit and empty again. And then I'm just going to use acronyms. We use M F G for manufacture. And then we can hit this enter button to make a double line print. It's going to show up as a double space here. So now we'll hit E X P colon and finish. Now you'll see we have manufacturing expiration there. Now in order to create a manufacturing date, very simple. Let's hit time and you'll see this is a default time format, which we're not going to use from this drop down list here that says type. I'm going to select just your basic, there we go, your year, month, month, day, day. And this will show the current day's date every day. So no need to go in and change this. Now for our expiration date, it's a little bit different. We're gonna select user defined. Now in this menu, you'll see you have three columns, seven rows, and we're gonna use these to um, create whatever date format we need. So you'll see down here at the bottom, this is gonna be your preview window. So I don't have any need for the hour, minute, and second right now. Some of us may, but not here. So we'll just press cancel in this first column for these three items. And you'll see as I do that, they remove themselves from this window here. Now I prefer to have my year on the end. So in order to do that, this third column here is the order in which these items are placed. So I want my year to be in the third place there. So I'm just gonna move it over to three and you'll see that it kind of moves, it automatically moves the month and the day. So now it's, I've got kind of a strange looking format here. We've got a space here followed by a backslash. We obviously don't want that. So after the month or the day, I'm sorry, we're gonna put a slash after the year We'll just simply press cancel and you'll see now I have a recognizable date format, November 18th, 2021, except my product doesn't expire the same day I manufacture it. So this last row here, this is valid time, is where I'll tell the printer how to keep track of that. So you'll see at the top here I have year, month, and day. So if I wanted to expire one year from today, I'll simply do that. You'll see it changed to 2022. Now, if I want to add a couple days, let's go ahead and say it expires a, a year and 10 days. And there you go. 11, 28, 2022. We can just press OK. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now let's hit file, save. We'll give it a name. Let's just call it date. Okay, now file and exit. We can load this message from here. There it is right on top. And now we're ready to print our message.